Right, my name's Duddy, so I want to show you the video today that I've got, and it's all based around the Stasis Hunter, Mask of Bacchus. We're going to feature Dustfield Grenades, Infinite, loads of them, and loads of resistance and smashing damage, so stay tuned for that. Right, Stasis Hunter build time, Mask of Bacchus. Absolutely huge, it still destroys enemies. Look at this, 1840 stuff, master level stuff, and it absolutely rinses these champions like a new one. Mask of Bacchus, it got changed at the beginning of the season or towards the back end of last season what it does replaces your stasis subclass dodge ability with a longer range faster moving arc shift that partially cloaks you during use after using your stasis and arc weapons deal an increased damage for a short period of time so it used to have to slow and freeze enemies all the time to get the max benefits but it used to stack with weapon surges now it's easy all you have to do is dodge to get that 25 percent damage as you'll see here, 1951, I'm just going to dodge, and you're going to see 2438, that's a 25% damage increase. Now it doesn't stack with weapon surges, but that is not a problem. Just getting that extra 25% damage just from dodging, you actually get a little bit more if you slow and freeze the target. It's actually a 30% damage increase, you can run them numbers back and have a check, but all the way from... 1951 to 2560, that's 25% plus another 5% when they're slowed or frozen. Uh, so basically, because it doesn't stack with arc weapon surges anymore, that's not a problem. I'm going to show you how to get infinite grenades. Look at that dust field grenade. By the time you've thrown it, shot the crystal, you're going to get most of it back and then you're just going to finish off with a little dodge. I'm going to show you how to get instant dust field grenades all of the time with grenade kickstart. Whenever you use your grenade ability, it's going to give you a large chunk back and then whisper of shard, shatter in a stasis crystal, temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate. When you run both of these together, you can literally smash dust field grenades out left, right and centre. Then I also run two bombers. So, because we aren't running the arc weapon surges on our legs because we don't need to anymore, we could actually buff our grenade recharge rate out even more. By running some other mods on our legs, stacks from stacks, picking up an orb grants you one additional stack of armor charge. That's really good for grenade. Uh, kickstart and then on top of that I'm also running a couple of mods like innovation to get your grenade cooldown back so two of them are stacks on stacks plus your grenade kickstart you're going to get loads and loads of grenade energy back so we can replace the arc weapon damage with grenade recharge rate which is obviously a massive bonus for the full subclass itself now whisper of a fraction is another one to buff the build out you'll see keep an eye on my class ability every time you kill slowed or frozen combatants you get massive chunks of energy back which is obviously great for mask of back risk because you want to be dodging all the time so on to the good stuff that was a bit of the boring stuff but things like four horsemen uh, absolutely shreds still with back risk. this has always been a top tier combo just look at this uh, overload champ just gets absolutely rinsed things like legend of acrius which again is arc i'll focus a lot on arc weapons but just look how quickly this deals to this overload champion as well now Trench Barrel on Legend of Acrius, that does stack with the 25% for Mask of Bacchus. So you can only imagine the amount of carnage you can cause with Mask of Bacchus. Another weapon that is really, really strong is Symmetry. Now this has a dynamic charge sort of feature and you can get to the times 20 on there and just fire massive, massive bolts of arc energy like so. Add your Mask of Bacchus dodge and this thing absolutely shreds. It's always gone quietly under the radar, Symmetry and Bacchus, but trust me, this is absolutely lethal. It clears adds out like crazy. Really solid combo. And it makes end game stuff very, very easily with the amount of dust field grenades you've got for a start. And the actual Revenant Super, the Silence of Squall, is a really fast super to get back in PvE. You look at that, you just throw these Silence of Squalls left, right, and center. And just watch the symmetry do some work on this Overload Champion. It's a primary ammo weapon. And the combo between that and Backrest is absolutely crazy. It absolutely chunks Overload Champions down and any champion down. It's a really, really solid option. Uh, some other ways you can actually use Mask of Backrest is for DPS as well. So things like Kali, you could get your Silence and Squall on there. Do your dodge, I'm going to get that 25% extra damage. And I'm just going to go ham with my Legend of Acrius, get that Trench Barrel going. And you're always doing a top DPS on your team with this, set, with this sort of setup really really nice little combo there's loads of different options you can use as well even things like hothead i'm even using a techie and force here and that does some nice damage too with mask of bacchus 
Now also, I just thought I really want to touch on again what the changes they did to Mask of Bacchus. Just in case I didn't explain it well enough. So what they did at the beginning of the season was change Mask of Bacchus. So whenever you dodge, you just get the instant 25% damage buff. Versus what, how it used to work before. It used to work before, you used to have to slow and freeze targets and do all sorts of other stuff to proc the damage. But just getting the 25% for doing your dodge. And on top of that... They removed the fact that it stacks with weapon surges now, arc weapon surges, but that's not really a big deal because as you've seen, you can use your legs where you normally put your weapon surges for other things like grenade recharge rate, even kinetic weapon damage. So it's an actual buff to the whole build versus a nerf in my opinion. So now we'll focus on the build a little bit more because that leads us on to that. So the thing is with stasis is absolutely exceptional for overload champions because your stasis slow effects does affect overloads and it's actually top tier for unstoppable as well because of all the shatter effects. Now Winter Shroud is another aspect that I like to run. This slows when you dodge targets, dodge near targets. Look at that and that's the overload effect kicking in, the slow. So it's exceptional for overload champions and unstoppable champions. And there's one more weapon I just want to show you before we sort of wrap things up. Risk Runner is exceptional with Mask of Back Risk because you get all the resistance when you get shot with arc damage. So for the dungeon boss, for example, this pairing is absolutely great. Look at this, you get all the arc damage in here, obviously for the, well, throughout the dungeon, but mainly in the end boss room. And you can tank so much damage with this, it is absolutely crazy, and be able to... Uh, clear adds at will so risk runner with all that tasty arc damage from the back risk all the resistance It's just a really nice little combo perfect for situations like this Which pairs nicely with all the resistance you get from whisper of hedrons now I'll just leave the fragments and uh, Aspects to talk about so stay tuned for that So I'm going to quickly go over my other aspect as well as winter shroud which is touch of winter because this adds uh, increased slow field sides for our dust field grenade and it adds a little stasis crystal on the impact now the stasis crystal is really important with the dust field grenade because that is going to open up a lot of build opportunities for us on the actual subclass if you run it with whisper of shard shattering the stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate so that's why dust field grenade with touch of winter is a really good option whisper of hedrons dramatically increased weapon stability weapon aim assist weapon effectiveness of resistance when you freeze a target whisper of refraction which we've seen whisper of shards which were featured and then whisper of jaw runs this is another strong one slow from your abilities last longer and then i always run gamble as dodge and if i didn't explain that well enough is a build preview and i will leave a video a dim link in the video description thanks for watching have a great day